got a lot going on on the farm this week. Uh, the first thing, the main thing we got going on is that we are spraying soybean aphids now. Uh, they did hit a threshold where we've got to get out and get them sprayed. They're about 175 to 200 aphids per plant right now. And they multiply so quickly, so we've got to get out there and spray them. Because uh, they will start to do a lot of yield damage in a hurry if we don't get out there. Uh, so that's the first thing we're doing is taking care of that. And Dad's out doing that right now. The other thing we got going on this week is that uh, the calendar turned over August 1st, so we've got a lot of corn that we're going to haul down to the ethanol plant. That's about 35 miles south of us. And we sold them the grain uh, about four to six weeks ago. We contracted it for the month of August, which means they'll take it in August, or it's an August delivery. So we've got the month of August to get it all down there to, to deliver the amount of bushels that we agreed to sell them. And so that's what uh, we've been doing a lot of this week, is spraying aphids and hauling corn. We got three trucks on the road. Uh, well, we got three trucks. We got two on the road this week, I guess, because the third one actually is, is still hooked to the, the uh, water trailer for spraying. So we're only running two trucks this week. But um, I'm going to show you today the process of what we go through to get the corn to the ethanol plant. Alright, I'm pulling into the plant here. And this specific plant got some uh, really nice upgrades and updates done to it a couple of years ago. So this is a nice, really nice system that they have as far as dumping for the farmers. It's really efficient, really quick, and easy to get through. So we're going to pull up to the probe here. And we've got an automatic tarp on the trucks where I push this button and I can look in the mirror and see that our tarp on the truck is opening automatically. So that'll automatically open and close on its own now. And we'll pull in here underneath the probe. That yellow thing will swing either direction so you can stop on either side of it. And we've got a scan tag here in the window. So it'll scan and they know what truck they've got. So the person in the office is watching the probe. They've got a camera on that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't see it in the sun. Um, they've got a camera on that and they'll take a probe from the back of the truck and the front of the truck. And what they're doing here is taking a sample of our grain and they'll test it. And they'll be able to tell us what the moisture of the grain is, um, what the percentage of foreign material in the grain is if you've got a, uh, other stuff besides just the clean grain in there, um, if there's any damage to the grain, and what the test weight of the grain is, so how much one bushel of the corn weighs. So that's what they're going to test for here. And after they finish testing, green light comes on, and it gives us our numbers, and then we drive ahead to the inbound scale and get our gross weight. So here we're, I'm driving onto the inbound scale, and all that we do here is stop for a second, and they'll weigh the gross weight of the loaded truck. Now that we got our gross weight, we continue on back to the dump pit, which at this facility is a little, little ways back here, a quarter mile back. Just got to wind back to it. And I'll drive on in here. This specific pit is really large. Um, it'll pretty much hold an entire semi load just in the pit. So you can pretty well dump the truck as fast as, as you can, and that pit will keep up. Walk on back here, start dumping, hold the button, and a trap comes open. This has got hydraulic traps on it. And on this truck, we've got an air ride suspension. So we'll come back here and release the air so that it doesn't hurt the airbags when it unloads all that weight.
doors back up here. Get the air back in the in the bags. Close our tarp. And we're dumped. There you can see the tarp closing in the mirror. Now we drive back around to the outbound scale. All right, so now we pull onto the outbound scale and what this does is take the empty weight of the truck and Using the two different weights and the test weight of the grain, they know exactly how many bushels we just dropped off. So they'll print out this slip. This will give us all of our all of our data on how many bushels we brought them and the information about those bushels. Now we drive out, head back home, and load it up again, do it all over. Quick stop for a healthy lunch break. Alright, so I'm pulling back in with an empty truck and I'll get pulled around here underneath the leg and I'll show you guys how we fill it back up again. Right now we've got corn transferring from, from that bin over there into this auger into the leg. And it's going into this bin here because this bin is empty and we want to try to load this truck as quick as we can. So, in order to get that switched, in order to get that switched up there, we've got a system of pulleys and wheels and gates so we can switch it to get it coming out the spout here and down into the truck. And the first one I got to pull is this driveway lever to open that and now I've got to open this gate here and now the corn is coming down into the truck instead of transferring into this bin and because of the leg it allows us to load out of more than one bin at a time so I'll run over here to the panel. Fire that up. And now, this bin is emptying. We're pulling out of there, it's going into the conveyor. So we've got grain coming out of here and from the, the bin back behind it here coming up this auger. So it's all going into the leg, goes up there. back up here as far as I can and uh, it, it comes through that all that there basically and I won't try to explain everything to you on how that works but uh, it's obvious you can see that there's some gates and, and things up there that we can open and close to get the grain to flow to different spots so right now it's coming down this driveway spout and loading into the truck when the bins get down to the bottom and you got to get the floor clean we do we run the sweep here this is called the sweep so this will stays in the center and it'll pull the grain from from the pile into the center and run it out the auger and into the conveyor and we will stand in here and shovel and sweep behind it it gets pretty dusty and on hot days it's awfully hot in here so it's never a fun job but it's one of those jobs you got to do and uh, you can see here that we have been running this sweep a little bit and I'll probably run it when I load the back of the truck, but I'm not gonna run it now because I'm making you guys an amazing video.
and I'll explain a lot more about how this leg system works once we get into harvest. It'll be a lot easier to explain all of that to you. And we're full. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Millennial Farmer, out.